everyone welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna do some art commentary while i talk about a bus that single-handedly sent me flying yes we're gonna be morbid today let's go <laughs> now being in london and the most popular transport i ever rode in my 14 years of living was the double decker buses they were big, they were cool, you get a nice view from above watching these little nuggets. NICE! I have encountered some funny stories with these double decker boys. A lot! Which include Number one, chasing the bus and passing out from heart failure. Number two, the bus literally abandoned me. Number three, the bus does not arrive and I'm stranded in the middle of nowhere at 10 pm. Don't ask, please don't ask. And number four, which is the main topic of the video, accidents that I mildly evaded due to the bus being savage at the wrong time. Yes, this happened like just recently. Now, this story actually happened, well, by the time I'm recording this video, two days before the tragedy. And honestly, it's pretty terrifying than I talk about it to be but let's get into it now this story starts with me going to school normally where I got earlier than I planned to be my class starts at 9 30 and I got there at 8 20 or 50 I forget it was 50 anyway the bus was reaching my destination and I got curious to know what his last destination would be because uh it's apparently a very popular area and actually half of my classmates live there so i decided to go to edmonton the final stop of this bus and see what it's like and also kill time for the 10 minutes i have to wait outside the door awkwardly now we reach the stop edmonton police station now i honestly thought that the bus would like terminate here so i need to get off and find the other bus stop to ride the other bus because that's how it usually works however some locations have the same names but they aren't actually the place where the bus terminates so it will be wrong on my part but anyway the bus stopped i rang the bell the doors opened and i went down the stairs now, for some hell of a reason, even to me not noticing that the bus didn't even open the doors or the bus did open the doors and I was way too late to go downstairs, or probably me not pressing the bell correctly, while I was going down the stairs, it started moving. Now, that would have been extremely normal if it moved slowly, I could just hand hold the handrail, but it did not. The bus violently shifted to the right. Although I thought the driver must have saw me in the cameras, like all of these 25 cameras in this bus are used for something, you know? But maybe he didn't notice, and uh, I was sent flung, flying. 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 Wait. I was sent flying to the wall, and uh, while I was on the stairs of the bus which was pretty narrow just imagine the escalator and uh the escalator is extremely narrow can only fit one person that's how thin the stair was now i was panicking because there's only two options to this conundrum either i form my face on the stairs and either breaking my leg and getting a concussion nice now I was freaking out, but I had no time to do so as I had to keep my balance so I don't flung outside the bus and get crushed by a car. Just kidding, the windows are jam locked for a reason. Mostly because I don't want to be paralyzed in the ICU. However, the strong movement made me bash my knee and my shoulder on both sides of the walls. And it snapped my wrists. Oh shoot. However, I managed to keep my position firm due to but due to being flung like a pancake, I missed four steps and landed on my feet like a sick parkour weave. Now all of you might be thinking, Wow, you must have thought you were Spider-Man or something. Wrong. 
I was actually terrified of this entire experience. Because I knew I had to act carefully so I don't end up brutally injured, which I do not have the time for. I still need to finish my comic. But it was due to me holding the handrails extremely tightly. Now, if you thought I was holding one hand with one hand on the handrail, I was not doing that. I was holding with two hands on the handrail. So, I managed to keep my balance pretty easily. However, that did not save me from getting flung like a pancake. It was annoying. And honestly, if the adrenaline didn't kick in, I would have fallen on my face and been dead. I would have been talking about this by now. Now, every time I say this to people, they feel like I was actually enjoying the moment. But actually, the more I repeat certain events, the more it gets serious on how serious it is. Now, I just said serious three times. Wow. Anyway, I managed to get off the bus safely. After sitting down and recuperating what happened in the past 5 minutes. Now to all of you who ride buses or any other public transportation or just walking in general. Please be responsible when you ride the public transport. A lot of stuff can go wrong and if you do not handle the situation carefully. You might get a free ticket to the emergency room. Or to the grave. Whichever one you like. If you are riding the bus, consider going up the stairs normally like a sane human being and don't stand on them like a hooligan. Just because you look cool does not mean you need to sacrifice your life in order to do so. And if the bus decides to be savage and just throws you off the grid, say goodbye to that healthy meat sack that you had to bear for your instinct responsible action. And always hold the handrail. I get to see these posters like every single time in these buses where they say hold the handrail which is pretty neat to me because not all buses had this before when I was a kid and just had it recently but like they're right when you go on public transport they literally save you from almost dying and falling head first onto the wall of the stairs anyways Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed the style of making this. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe, leave a comment so I can keep my sanity and uh, make sure to join my Discord server so you can see me posting sneak peeks of my comics and sometimes streaming real time, although the latter one's more harder to do because I'm getting busy. And uh, we got to chat about other stuff and art. Anyways. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed me shading these few chapters of my comic. I mean, pages, what the hell. So, hope you enjoyed. And uh, my expected release day for chapter 4 of my comic might be around October. Who knows? Just depends if I can finish this one hell of a chapter pretty quickly. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.